Candy Crush is based on a variety of games. Um, the most famous is Bejeweled, but there's a long history of, even Tetris is in there, but uh, <laughs> there's a long history of match three games. And pretty much all of these are NP complete. I don't know the details of all of them, but there's this paper uh, by three authors uh, a little bit later in the year uh, that proves basically all of these games are NP complete, even when you're not given a move limit. So this is interesting. In Bejeweled, the goal is just to maximize your score. You don't necessarily have a limit on the number of moves, unlike Candy Crush. Uh, so, or in, in so also in some levels of Candy Crush, it's like that. So uh, here, it was very crucial that we only had enough moves to trigger all the variables. We didn't want to be able to do other things. Um, so here's a different proof, and I'm just going to give the high-level picture, uh, basically. Uh, this is cool, because even just figuring out whether you can get this one gem, this one uh, candy, is hard. Uh, in order to do so, you have to line up all of these things for each clause. And here it's a reduction from exactly one three set, one and three set. So only if exactly one of the variables gets set correctly does this shift to the right level. And only when all of these are shifted to the right level can you trigger this wire to go all the way here and get that guy. And it's the only way to get that guy. You can't do it directly. You can only be triggered from the left-hand side. And there's also a sequencer over here which forces all of the variables to get set before this happens. Uh, so it's a little tricky because you don't want to have to, you don't want it to be that you could set half of them and then trigger this and then things happen to align in a cheating way. The details are complicated, but they actually implemented their reduction. <laughs> uh, so this is it. Now, the, as, as it says here, there are 4,000 rows above and 2,000 rows below. So it's a large construction. <laughs> and this is for this formula. <laughs> um, I can clean it up a little bit, remove the, again, there's a background checkerboard pattern here. So if I generate instance, then uh, things are a little bit cleaner. And I think highlighted in red are the moves you can make. So here's the first variable. You can either, uh, let's do the simple one first, move this guy with this one, and then trigger, trigger, trigger. All this happens without you able to do anything. And that will move some stuff up top. Um, or uh, we can move this one here. And then this is fun. The variable goes down. And it just keeps, it goes down basically to where the x1 bar is down here, and then it triggers that guy. And maybe that guy also. Okay, and that one. And <laughs> that one. <laughs> okay, uh, lots of stuff happens. Anyway, eventually we'll get down to x2 and we'll be able to set it one way or the other. Uh, so the details are obviously a little bit complicated, but clearly they've been explicitly worked out because they can even play the game, which is pretty awesome. Uh, Anyway, and they also have the greatest URL, uh, candycrush.isnphard.com. We should try to get other things.isnphard.com. Um, and that is Candy Crush and Bejeweled and all of its friends are NPHard.